Welcome back to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today I've got for you a 4x casual strategy game called Dominion Mundi. Alright, so we start off over here in Ukraine and we start off with 6 points. There are multiple ways to win the games. Either you must get to 180 victory points, or you must own all the cities on the map, or you must own all the religion on the map, or you must own all trade routes, or you got the points. Now up over here we've got our army. So every time you conquer a city you get access to a special army unit. So in this case we've got access to guardians which are positioned in the first row and they have attack of 40 defense 24 and they give bonus to everyone in the same column. Okay so we put them over here. Here we can see our total army points, how much we gain per turn and then we can click here to see our army stats. On the left bottom and right bottom we've got our religion information and our resources. So we've got different type of resources. If you get at least four of a specific resource, you will gain a bonus. For example, if you have at least four wood, region with wood produces one more army point per turn. Now if you have at least 10 points in the religion, you get a bonus. For example, if you get 10 points in fire temple, attacking region costs 10% less army points. Currently you've got one in the earth's temple. Each turn you can do one thing. You can either conquer another city, explore, send people to convert citizens to your religion, or uh, create a trade route. So we're gonna go explore over here and we find Osni Seal, which is another city. Now if we were to create a trade route, it would create a connection between our cities and give us a vote point. We could also attack it. Our attack power is 104. This is not their defense. This is like how many points it's going to cost you to get that city. So let's get 101. This very much depends on their uh, defense structure. For example, if I were to place my guardian on a different position, I'm, it might cost me this. So you see now it only costs 92, so this can be really useful. So I'm actually going to conquer it immediately. And this is going to give us an extra paladin which we can use to increase our defense. We're going to end our turn. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a trade route because this will allow my cities to grow. You can see that there's this dash here, but once I create a, right, a trade route, this will change. So in five turns, my city will get more citizens, which means I'll get more citizens of the given religion, which will give me more religion points, which is good. I also get the wooden point because I create a connection. So now I'm going to try to convert this to my religion. Yeah, let's do that. So why can I do that? So now I've got two points in the Earth Temple, but in four turns both of these cities will grow, so I'll actually gain additional two points. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to explore. So we're gonna explore up here. We find Mobra. Now this is unfortunately of a different religion, so it's not as interesting for us, but we could get another Paladin, which would be useful because it would increase our defense. If you look at the stats here, defense would be quite high, which would be nice. So could we actually attack them immediately? Well, we'll find out next turn. Could we attack them immediately? 64, not quite yet. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait on the attacking. We could, however, create a trade route, which would uh, give us some sheep points. And in one turn, we'll get those extra earth temple points. Now we still can conquer them unless we could try to move our people around and see if maybe that would help. It's 55 now. No, I think it was 50. How much did it was before? I'm not quite sure. Let's check this again. It was 57, so actually the, the movement was better, but it doesn't matter, we'll do it next time anyway. So instead, we're gonna explore this turn up here. We find Studium, which is of the same religion as I am, which is fantastic, so we definitely want to convert it. So notice now I have two earth, two earth, four earth points. Now I'm actually moved up to four. I'm immediately going to convert the people here in Studium, so now I'm up to five. Because once I get to ten, I'm gonna get a really nice bonus. It's going to be, I can send an extra priest per turn, so it's gonna be easier for me to convert people to my religion gonna end my turn here. I'm also going to create a trade route because this will give me more stone. So players get two more trade power and route when they send merchant on trade route connected to regions. This is gonna be important once we actually meet one of our other players because whoever controls the trade is the one who has the most point in it. So if I have a bonus for that that would be quite nice. And we're also going to end our turn again. Now I am going to try to control Studium if I can. So I've, yeah, so actually we're gonna start with Mombra, actually it's, it's gonna be a bit easier. So we have additional planning, which I'm gonna put up here on the top. This is going to make our defense quite strong, so it's going to be a bit easier for us to defend against maybe someone else who wants to attack us. We'll end our turn here. 
And next, I think we would like to take over Stuidam. We could create a trader out here, but it's not going to help us because we already get the points from all of this stuff. So let's instead explore. We find Ugriai up here. Now this is going to give us a knight. However, the knight cannot go in the fr front row. So it's it's questionable whether it actually would be useful for us or not. It's also a different temple type, which is not great, but it does give us sheep, which we already have. So, so a trade route here would be useful. So let's get a trade route. So we gain extra sheep one. We're now up to two. And in one turn, we'll gain some more earth point, but it's not going to be enough. I will probably try to conquer something because I can. Yeah, let's try to conquer Studian. I think we care a bit more about that. And it's going to give us this catapult, which will again make our defense a little bit better. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. We could actually be looking at like these... these um, Bonuses. Decreases attack to enemy. Attacks units in a column get increased attack. Yeah, so we increased the attack for the plot in there. That's alright. Long. Let's end our turn. Now, next thing we could do is we could try to grab over again. I think I'm just gonna explore. We found Otrinas, which is of the Water Temple. I mean, we do have... Three places for a water temple, so we're actually going to start getting some water points. So we're going to start off with Mobra, because that's the easiest, and it's pretty far from enemies, so we should be pretty safe in this area and start getting our points over here. Then we're going to try to convert the people here in Ungraya, so now we've got three points. And finally we'll convert the people up here. So now we've got four points over there and we should be gaining more soon. Next I need to create a trader out to make sure that this city is going to expand and in five turns we're gonna get a few more of this particular type. Now I am going to, I'm actually going to keep exploring, I'm not gonna try to take over. So we've got Atra, they've got a fire temple, I don't really care. So the question is though, we don't know how strong they are. If they're strong, we might want to focus on getting Atrina so we can get an extra stronger unit here because it really affects them. Let me actually show you. If I were to attack them now, they've got 626 power. I would need to conquer them. If I turn this into Militia, now it's 800. So you can see how even one catapult is going to lower it by such a high number. So let's actually grab Atrinas. We'll get additional catapult, which should make me a little bit stronger. Now we are almost at 10 points here, which is quite useful. I could try to grab their wheat, but it's kind of pointless for me because I don't have any points in wheat, so I don't really care. Now you can see now it's only going to take me 400 to take over, and we could try to kind of play it around with the positioning to go get a bit better at that. But I think instead we could try to take... Yeah, we actually... We could try to get Ugrai. We already have the religion there, but... Uh... It would give us the knight, and we could try if placing the knight in a good position might actually help us with them. How, how hard is it to take it? I'm gonna take it. Uh, we cannot, we can actually place the lancer down here, which is probably not gonna be particularly helpful. Let's actually check it out. Now it's 317, so it's better, but it's not crazy. But if I were to have this like that, for and it's not that much of a difference, but if I exchange this, yeah, it actually does help, so it does make a bit of a difference. So the knight can go in the back, but the paladins cannot, so that's why we're going to kind of keep him there. But we're not trying to attack him yet, instead we want to focus on other things. So let's do some more exploring. We find Peglia here, again, of water type temple, which is good for me. And it gives me iron, which we don't really care about. So we're going to focus on the religion here. And we get one extra point. Now, at this point, we've gained 10 points in the Earth Temple. So we can now send one more priest per turn. So for example, we could try to grab their religion down here, which would be useful. Because remember, you can win just from getting religion everywhere. But first... I, I think we'll start. We'll start sort of bothering him with the religion a little bit. Put one fire point there. And I could send... Yeah, I think I already send it twice, right? No, I could send it again. So now I've got two few more points. So now it's 2-2, two, two, so now I've actually gotten the fire temple. Now he brought it back. He was like, no, I'm gonna grab it over. We could try to take it again, but I actually might try to explore elsewhere instead. So he's controlling this city, but he's not controlling the... Um, 
I do wonder if I want to take it because we would get this kind of defending unit which might be important and even more importantly he loses access to that unit so it actually, actually should make it easier for us to take over f somewhere else because he's not as strong so we lost back there immediately we also lost the Templar and we've gotten an extra water point elsewhere mm. I'm actually just going to be sending a little more people to like the different religions because I want to make sure we control it strongly. Yeah, they keep taking over. So let's just explore. Let's see what else we've got because we could... Okay, this is another fire temple. We don't really care about it, but we could conquer it to get additional archers, which we could check if they're more beneficial in combat against them or not. Or actually, I'm just gonna keep... Wait, do we care about this iron here? It would help with the trade routes because we would we would expand our cities a little bit faster. We could get iron twice from us and from them. And yeah, go on. Let's grab a trade route here. This would give us some iron points. Then we'll do it again here. This will give us additional iron. So now we're up to two. Wheat we don't care about. But I do believe, I'm going to test this, I do believe that if you create a trader out here, it's going to, yeah, it's going to make growth of my cities a bit faster. So we're actually going to add some more trader outs in this area so we can get our points here significantly higher. So we can grow our cities a bit quicker and we can get also more points in the army. So let's. What else we want to do? We want to explore some more. Actually, we don't need to explore because notice that he's controlling all the sort of edge cities. So we actually can move further unless we destroy some of his things. So we're going to take over Paglia because it's the easiest. Now we've got the Templar. So we're going to wait for an one. Okay, he keeps grabbing it back, which is a bit irritating. Uh, could I exchange something for something else? I cannot. I'll try it again. Mm, he keeps taking it. And it keeps costing me more points to grab it. Yeah. We're just essentially killing our each other's army. So let's try to move up. Yeah, the problem is I can't connect straight through, which is a little bit irritating with this particular setup. If I were to explore down here, again, I can't go straight through, so I have to attack him no matter what. He took Studian. Okay, no, that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna grab it back immediately. I can't. Come on. That's very unfortunate. That's extremely unfortunate, actually. But what we could try is we could grab this particular. Really, uh, actually, we, we won't get enough points because that other guy has a lot of points there. But we could try to focus on getting the religion here because you don't necessarily need to win by having the most cities. You can win by religion. I would, however, still like to grab this as soon as I can. But right now, let's focus on religion here. We're not really getting enough points in this particular area. Okay. We lost two water points in Arabia. We got one water points in Otrinus. This is still 600. Is there any way I could change that if I were to, for example, Turn this back into militia and place this knight here. It's because we lost the catapult, so it's now much harder for us to gain that point there. Yeah, these are the cheapest, but he seems to have a very, very high strength, so it's like difficult to get through this thing. Now, I could get some points here, but because he has five, it's really hard to kind of take over. So we might actually start somewhere else. We might start here. Get ourselves a few more points. If we were to explore... This is another fire temple which I don't really care about. 557. I could grab Paglia now. I don't know how strong... Actually, that guy seems to be even stronger most likely than the other one. So I would really like to get Sweden back. Because this is not the best unit for me. This would also be good. So we might try to wait one more turn. Any useful temples? Let's keep exploring. I need to find a good temple. Yeah, this is a good temple for me. I'm going to try to get that. No, they keep taking my stuff. And I can't take it back. Man. Okay, we could grab Garcia though. 
Get the points for the... Oh, we can because we're not in range. Well, we get Paglia then. And we'll put up here the knight. Oh, they immediately take it away. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, this is this is getting a bit harder for us. Let's grab this. We actually already have this temple. Let's focus on this temple then. We're not going to have enough points there though. Can we do some more combat? We can. They have such high, high army compared to us. Yeah. Either way, I think we're going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And I, you can click on the right to watch some other for strategy games if you'd like. I'll see you there. Bye bye.